Hello guys, welcome to my channel How to Learn. In this video, I want to explain about a design pattern, which is factory design pattern. Okay guys, and let's check what is it. A factory method pattern says that define an interface or abstract class for creating an object. But let the subclasses decide which class to instantiate. In you can simply say like subclasses are responsible to create instance of a class. Okay guys. And we can also call this factory method pattern as virtual constructor. Okay guys. And now I am going to project implementation. Now first of all I want to create a project guys. File new project. Java project. And next. I want to name it as factory. Factory. Okay, and just click on next and then finish. Okay, it's done. Now I want to create an interface, guys. I want to name my interface as shape. Now I want to create a abstract method which is public void draw. Sorry, default void draw. Again, now I want to create three classes, guys. First, my first class name is circle. And my sec second class name is rectangle, and my third class name is square. Okay, my class square. Now, what I want to do means I want to implement these classes with my shape interface. Okay, and now I want to add this unimplemented methods. System dot I want to print some message here. Hi, I'm circle. Okay, it's done, guys. And now I want to do the same for the rectangle and the square classes also. Okay, it's done. Now I want to implement it with this method. I, I can select this interface and now I am printing some message here. Hi, I'm rectangle. Again, I'm saving it one also and now I want to do the same for square. I want to implement it with shape. Okay, now I want to add some unimplemented methods here. Hi, um, square. Okay, guys. And now I'm creating a new class. Guys, please carefully observe while I am writing logic in it because it is the main part of our design pattern. Now, here I, what, what I will do means I will create a method public which is written type is shape and get shape and my input parameter is a string guys string string s okay. Well, what I will do means here I will write an if condition what what is the if condition means based on the return type I want to return my instance okay if s dot equals ignore case of circle then I want to return new circle okay guys and now I want to write a else if condition here else if s dot equals ignore case of rectangle then I want to return instance of rectangle okay this one also done now again I want to write another if else if condition where the input parameter is equal to square okay guys and here just i want to return null okay guys now what i will do means i will create a class with main method now i will test whether my logic is working properly or not now i will name it as factory demo okay it's done now I will create an object for my shape shape factory shape factory 
as equal to new shape factory okay it's done now what i will do means i will create an object for shape interface shape s1 equal to s dot get shape of now i am passing my input parameter is circle okay s1 dot draw method now i will run my application guys let's check what is happening here if you observe i am getting an output as hi i am circle okay suppose let's check this let's change the input type to rectangle string now we'll get the output as hi i am rectangle means you can observe guys what i have done i have implemented the same the subclasses are responsible to create instance of the class okay me means it means if you give the square here then we will get the output from the square class okay based on the subclasses the output will be come okay i think you guys got it you can easily say like right? in this factory pattern the subclasses are responsible to create the instance of a class okay guys i think you guys got it if you have any queries also please comment it in comment section i'll resolve your queries okay and um, thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel